Nigerians are expected to seek out the best. Two words to describe the accident. The European Unity Forum is coming. to you on Be the first to know. From the north, south, east, west, and around Africa. Presidential We break the news. Men in Nigeria. Now you can catch all the actions live. I wish you would. As the news breaks. We are Core TV News. Welcome to Core TV Primetime News. A 24 hour news station. Perhaps the most popular word on the show last week was xenophobia, and it sounds quite new to many of us, uh, especially the younger generation who did not understand the history of South Africa. Of course, um, the reaction from this part of the country was high. The National Assembly, of course, the foreign minister who also claimed that no Nigerian has been affected yet, as well as clarion calls from the Nigerian government that Nigerians living in South Africa should close their businesses and play safe. I'm joined on the show this morning by a Nigerian student studying in South Africa. He's actually a PhD student at the University of Fort Hare, East London in South Africa. Anthony Ajayi joins us all the way from uh, South Africa this morning. Anthony, thank you very much for finding time to join us today. What more can you tell us about the xenophobic attack that was reported uh, some days ago in South Africa? Good morning. Uh, my name is Pai Anthony Makishan. And a solar means bowling and aggressive hatred of foreigners. It is rooted in an aim being for the feet of others for their lack of agency and hardship. The people of South Africa are sick of their dignity on a daily basis, sitting jobless and destitute, without a roof, roof over their heads and hungry children not to feed. You know, it is against this background that, you know, people take frustration, their frustration on foreigners. And, uh, you know, it's been condemned by uh, everybody. The government, uh, the government of South Africa has strongly condemned xenophobic attacks. The city has issued a statement this morning against uh, the very nasty attacks. But the, 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 the mark left uh, on foreigners, uh, are, you know, Imaginable, like, like the same. People are greatly scared of going out. You, know, you see pictures and images of fellow foreigners being attacked on, the, on daily basis, and you don't know which place. So we are always on the alert, we are always very careful, the, the fair is still there. And, you know, it's just it's it's surprising. Mm. I understand you, Anthony, but you are studying at the University of Fort Hare. What's the situation amongst um, international students like in that part of South Africa? You know, like, like I said, you know, things are generally calm in, in the university. Like I said, the leadership of the university has issued a strong statement against an academic attack. But the issue is that we don't feel safe. You know, that, that's a general issue because we don't know who is left. We, you know, we go out on the streets, you know, anything could happen because mm. we, live among the, we live among the people too. Oh, I see. You know, so, so that's the situation. But, but how far, how far are you, how far away are you from the reality of these attacks? Yeah, I'm far, maybe about um, 500 kilometers away. Mm. About that, uh, about, you know, it's again, it's, you know, we really also need to understand that the last xenophobic attack happened in Johannesburg, okay. which is far away from Durban. Mm. But now today it happens in Durban. Who knows where else it will happen? Mm. Well, so, the, the, you know, those, are, those are the issues. We, we cannot say, we, cannot, we can't say for, for sure that it will happen in our area. Mm. So, we are always very. A lot, you know, you move, you try to move during the day, you don't work at night, you take extra you know, measures to protect yourself. I see. Because the problem, the problem is this new test in the future of the day, sorry now. And who knows, 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 against you, for instance, as an international student, you know, uh, within the premise of the university where you study? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. 
It's all right. There are lots of stories that we're hearing. Of course, reaction from even uh, President Jacob Zuma, who uh, sent his condolences to uh, victims of the attacks. But can you say precisely if there are any visible government efforts in not only uh, ending this um, rioters uh, and violent attacks on foreigners in South Africa, but also to prosecuting all these criminal activities? We heard this morning that the, you know, the arrest has been made, that over 300 people have been arrested. However, we still felt that a lot is not being done. You know, because you see, you see, you know, people, you know, for instance, something happened yesterday on the, on, on the newspaper. You see someone, the first three guys followed a foreign out of his house, and, you know, they killed him right there and there. And people were watching. Nobody is making an attempt to, you know, help the foreigner. Mm. You know, this happens every day. You see, you see, you see, a lot of people in the, in the afternoon, someone attack and kill someone, and nobody is making an attempt to rescue the person. You know, that, that, that's, that's the human. You know, we also need the people of South Africa to also protect foreigners. You know, why don't we have some two or three elements among them that, that are Greek, that want to take their frustration against foreigners? We need the other people to rise up and protect the foreigners, not especially when you have to during the day. But this is not what we see. Because the, the police cannot be everywhere all the time, you know. Mm. And uh, we see instances where, you know, the police are even watching, you know. So mm. it makes us, you know, fear, fear, fear they are part more. The University of Forte in uh, their position against the xenophobic uh, uh, attack outrightly condemned the latest spate of violence. But have you seen any uh, real reaction in the area of um, probably increasing the security available within the premise of the university? No, 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 no. That has not been done. Although uh, this week, a rally will be organized to educate the to, to be accommodating to foreigners by the university. So within the next few days, those are the things that the university has planned to do to, you know, to, as part of their effort to also educate people because that's what they believe they could do. They believe they educate people that, you know, foreigners are not the enemy. Foreigners are not to blame for, 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 for their, for their um, bad, uh, lack of um, well-order. Mm. You know, foreigners are not the reason why they are poor. Mm. You know, those are the messages the university are trying to put out in, the, in their own effort to, to also contribute to resolving the problem of um, xenophobia. xenophobia. The Minister of Foreign Affairs here, sometimes last week, Anthony, was of the opinion that no Nigerian living in South Africa has been affected yet by this series of attacks. Do, can, do, you, do you know uh, for sure if that is true? It's also been confirmed that shots of Nigerians have been, have, have been limited, you know. Although there have not been casualties, you know, that no Nigerian life has been lost, but we also, we also heard that, you know, their shops are being buggled and um, their goods are being stolen. Have you personally, probably within or outside the university, maybe in your daily activities, had any encounter with any uh, such feeling of hatred from indigents? in South Africa? Okay, let, let, let me give you a background. Where, where I live, I don't live, for, you know, um, among the people. Okay. So, there is, the, no, sorry, I don't live, you know, among the core natives. I, I live a bit, you know, far away from where we have, um, you know, the, the, the large congregation of whites. I see. But, you know, daily, for the, my own closest cancer was when I went to bat my hair at the Nigerian shop. And, uh, you know, we're just debating that today, you know, the father was in the Nigerian community to say, and he said, you know, I, I bought your hair very well. He was talking to an Anidigin, mm. and he said, I bought your hair very well now. I will be surprised tomorrow if you carry, you know, cutlass to attack me, you know, mm. because I'm offering you a service, and you pay me for it, you know. But then, you know, there's a general, you know, discussion about the transition to public attack on, on the street. On the street, and a lot of people have also come to condemn the city people and their BBM on their WhatsApp, you know, spreading messages by saying no to xenophobic attacks. But then, 
We also need to understand that people that participate in this are probably of low education, they belong to the lower sectors of the, in the society. Mm. So where I am, I have many educated people that are actually condemned from a public work. That's all right. What are your plans, Anthony? Are you planning to stay back in South Africa after your PhD studies, given the latest developments? In fact, I just had a discussion with a friend this morning that I'm um, almost likely to return back to the India because, you know, I don't feel safe. That's the truth. So I'm continuing to return back to the South Africa. But what's the feelings of, of Nigerians out there? Do you feel that um, the Nigerian government have your back at this time? Do you? Because we also heard that there are plans to probably evacuate all Nigerians from South Africa. Are you confident that the Nigerian government um, is at the top of its game at this very particular time? Yeah, I, I believe they are doing uh, the best they could. Uh, and also in conjunction with all other South African countries, issuing statements, you know, uh, about it, that it's nothing is being done not them to about it. But, you know, there are businesses in all those other communities. For instance, Nigeria now, because the revenue of um, NTM, Nigeria accounts for about 30 to 40 percent of it. And we believe that if, if all that could be, could, could be looked, those statements will help the government to also, you know, work up their good in fighting against um, um, the, 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 the ridiculous attacks. But we believe that those are the things the Nigerian government can do. I think returning everybody back home is not, it's not, it's not a solution in itself. Mm -hmm. However, we also believe that, you know, you know, making strong statements, even in African Union, in Southern Canada, Issuing out strong statements against this attack and also forcing the government of South Africa to protect the foreigners with help. It's all right, Anthony Ajay. Thank you very much for finding time to join us today, sharing your own uh, perspective on the xenophobic attack in South Africa. Do keep safe. It's all right. I, I just spoke with um, a PhD student at the University of Fort Hare. He is a Nigerian student in South Africa, sharing his opinion as regards the attack. It is of opinion, however, that he stays in East London and he's surrounded with a number of whites about 500 kilometers away from where the trouble rally is. He has a feeling that probably the South African government isn't doing enough because there are still cases of foreigners being killed even as at this morning on the front pages of the papers. He also made mention that close to three hundred people have been reportedly arrested as regards this latest development from that part of the world we can only but hope uh, we can only hope that um, this will really die down in a matter of time even as the Nigerian government is also at the top of its game doing all that it can the Minister of Foreign Affairs was of the opinion that no Nigerian has been affected he also feels the same but um, there are some rumors that probably one or two Nigerian might have been affected in uh, the wake of this uh, very violent attack against foreigners in South Africa. Well, let's also take a look at um, what's happening in the country and the reaction of some stakeholders as regards um, xenophobia in South Africa. Nigeria's president-elect Mohamedou Buhari seemed to uh, have given the federal government a pat on its back, saying that he's in full support of the steps taken so far by the Nigerian government to protect the country's citizens from the wave of xenophobic attacks in South Africa. Buhari, who made the statement released in Abuja, says Nigeria's head of commission in Pretoria had taken the right steps by advising the Nigerian community in South Africa to close their shops, stay home, and keep out of trouble while ensuring that they obey the laws of their host country. Making allusion to efforts made by South African government to curb the situation, he advised Nigerians in that part of the world to, in the meantime, abide by the words of caution extended them by the government representative in Pretoria. Buhari also commended the Nigerian government for its decision to monitor the situation in South Africa as well as evacuating its citizens at any sign of escalation. He says, and I quote, I am happy to see that the Nigerian government is very well aware of its responsibilities to its citizens in South Africa. At the unfolding event in South Africa, recalling the friendly relations uh, between Nigeria and South Africa since the end of apartheid.
Also, the People's Democratic Party is also reacting to the latest development. As a matter of fact, it has described as provocative as well as completely unacceptable the xenophobic attack on foreigners, Nigerians and other foreign nationals in South Africa. PDP National Publicity Secretary Ulisa Meitu in a statement in Abuja says the attacks were outrightly barbaric, primitive and cannot be justified under any guise whatsoever. Meitu went on to say that it was unfortunate, it was disheartening that South Africans by this attitude have shown that they are not appreciative of the roles played by Nigeria and other African countries in liberating their nation from the clutches of the obnoxious apartheid system. He said while the PDP was aware that uh, the unfortunate incident was a fallout of incendiary uh, utterances by certain leaders, he called on the ruling African National Congress as well as the South African government to take urgent as well as practical steps to stem the tide and guarantee the safety of lives and property of Nigerians and other nationals targeted by the Sinovops. Well, lots of reaction coming in. There were lots of um, reactions also on the social media. Nigerians are asking also that certain uh, commercial avenues for the South Africans be closed down and shut down in Nigeria as a response to the violent attack against foreigners in South Africa. The House of Reps, I believe, last week also talked about recalling the ambassador of Nigeria to South Africa. They also uh, talked about what would uh, be made of the diplomatic relations that exist between Nigeria and South Africa at this time. Well, I believe that the bottom line is uh, the old African community being united at this time against acts of violence. And we also discussed last week how important, how great lessons Nigeria can learn from the development in South Africa, given a country that has seen seasons of apartheid that, of course, do have um, historic and national uh, heroes like Mandela, who stood for peace at a time that he was even jailed for over 20 years and came out, did not instigate the black against the white. Many people cannot also fathom the, uh, uh, the, the reality of black man attacking black. I mean, a difference that cannot be told even by any other person. Well, we're hopeful that South Africa also can overcome its problems at this time, as important as it is for the whole African community to be united. Let's take a short break and I'll be back with more stories making headline. Don't go away. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down, explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. From time immemorial, women have bet life, shaped character, and by extension, influenced the society. Morimi of Ife, and Moten of Benin, Queen Aminat of Zaria, all women of influence and power. Whether it's before election, after election. How ironical. Women being so powerful, yet have few grounds in decision making. I see you as weak, and I see you as a wife to a man. We are talking women in politics. A woman will be bold enough to stand up and say, I want to become president of Nigeria. Only on Core TV News.